I was taking my kid to a doctor and I had to go to a walk-in clinic. And when I went in, he, he was a lot older. He looked at me and he was like, looked at all my tattoos. He looked at my kid and he was like, he's like, you're a mom. And I'm like, yeah. And then he looked at my ring and he's like, oh, you're married. And I'm like, yeah, I'm married. And then he's like, oh, okay. So you're not a single mom. not a single mom. <laughs> like, I really felt it, you know? And then he's like, oh, you have a lot of tattoos. And I'm like, yep. And I'm just thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, even if I was a single mom and I had tattoos, it really has nothing to do with this. Just do your job as the doctor. The more life-changing pieces I saw in my career is when people come with a big scars, surgeries or burnings. So you can turn to a, like a beautiful thing. You can, you change because I can see in the faces when it's done, right? Because people like, you cover something you want to remember. So that's the, the more cool thing you can see. You can create something around that thing. That's the good part to be an artist. You're changing everything for them. You're taking something that they've been looking at and regretting and you're making it to what they can actually look at it and be happy with. We always say and joke a little bit that as tattoo artists, we're the non-qualified um, psychologist, <laughs> but we listen to everybody's problems and we're a type of therapy too. I do a lot of floral work and uh, most of the time people get certain flowers for a reason. It may not seem like it because it's just flowers, but either it's a birth flower of a person that like a loved one or their kids, you know, something that's related to them. I like it because then you're telling a story. You know, I think the big thing is, is a lot of the times you might have something you're like, oh, I want to get this tattooed, but you have no idea how to bring it to life. And then in essence, that's my job. My job then is to bring it to life and make it the best possible tattoo it can be. It's the best job you, you can ever have, man. Even for you, if you love what you do, it's not even a job. It makes you feel good when, when you do something to a person and they end up happy, you know? That's the, the best reward. One of my oldest clients ever, actually, she came in and she got a rose and a dove. Just a few months ago, her son came in, informed me that she had passed away, and asked me to do the same rose that I had done on her, on him. That's the first thing that came to mind as being like the most touching, you know, where you, you can replicate that for someone and now he can look at it always and remember his mom in that way. Yeah, that's Not so bad, eh? That's the good part about getting tattooed by a girl. Be more gentle. I mean, it's a male-dominated industry, um, but that's changing. It's not the same anymore. It's definitely also a lot of women, some kick-ass female tattoo artists. I go to a lot of shows. I went recently to the New York um, show. And that one, you could see like so many women. It was amazing. There was even one whole shop that was just women. Tattoos in Ecuador in the time when I'm, I'm there are uh, gangster, you know, like it's underground. It's like in the time when I'm a star, it's like, no, everybody can get a tattoo. Like it's not popular. People getting tattoos, uh, no, everybody getting tattoos. But the tattoo industry gets so much evolution, like everybody has that, especially in this country, right? You see a guy like with a minimum, like have a small tattoo. So the difference between is like, it's more acceptable here than there. I have less problems here than back home. My family never support me like in this kind. That's, that, I think so that is one thing push me to do these things. Canada is a great place because you can do whatever you want. My country have different values than Canada because they're different, different, different people, different, different culture, right? So there's a fact big in the tattoos. I love being here because, I, like I said before, I have like 5% problems with people looking me bad or things like that. In my country, I need to live in the hood, 100%, because I can live in a nice area right there because I don't, accept, I don't get accepted right there. I get stopped in every airport and go to whatever the police ask me, and that's it. Because the more problem is like police or a little bit judgment from the people, but I really I don't care, man. I live my life like a normal person. I really don't care. If you focus on people, you're wasting time, right? Life is short, man.
to enjoy the trip.